Okay, so welcome to History by Hollywood. Uh, this is going to be a brief guide uh, for parents to the history elective. My name is Mr. Langel, and I teach this course. I'd like to talk just a, a few points about some of the key points uh, of information regarding this class. Uh, my contact information is here, so if you have any questions or concerns at any time, please feel free to email me at this address right here. Um, to introduce the class, I'd like to talk a little bit about why I teach this class. I am the department chair of social studies at St. Mary's. I'm a graduate of the prep class of 2000. I also teach world history and AP world history. So a lot of the students who take this class as an elective have had me in the past for world history. And I look forward to that. It's always kind of nice to see them as they kind of mature and get a little bit older. One of the things I would say though, is um, the goal of this class is actually to take history and make it pretty fun. You know, one of the goals is that uh, we're able to act as a historian would. Uh, I understand that a lot of young uh, students, they learn through video today in this modern world. And so what I do is I take history based films, feature films, Hollywood style films, and I show them the full length, the feature film. And then what we do is as we go through, we write down key notes about uh, questioning the historical accuracy what's being presented, is it is it accurate, is it true, did these things happen, or is Hollywood sort of stepping in here just to make the film a little bit more interesting? So our goal as, as a class is to make history fun, doing something with history that uh, most students, the age of the young men that take my class uh, can be interested in. You know, they, they, like, they like movies, they like films. A lot of the content that I pick is based on warfare, which uh, a lot of our ancient history, kind of what we have written, stems off of warfare. And then as we get into the more modern times, we take a look at films that talk about some major inventions, uh, some different time periods like the Great Depression, some of the things that were going on there. And uh, our ultimate goal is always to assess the accuracy of what we're watching. Hopefully we're learning something about what it was like back then. And so the way that I get the students to enhance their knowledge on historical content from these films is as follows. I'm going to show you a couple of the type of assignments that we do in class. The first one is called the basic film question. So for every film that we watch, we take a look at number one, what is the historic event that is being portrayed? What's the plot? What, what are we looking at here? What's it all about? How does it relate to history? Who are the key figures that are portrayed in the film? Uh, historically, were they accurate? W were these real figures? Or is the movie using a fake figure, but talking about a true historical time? Number three, what historical time period is represented in the film? When was the movie made? And how might this discrepancy between when the content is taking place and when the film was made, how might this impact the historical accuracy? Number four, what geographic region, so ge geography is involved here, is represented in the film? Where does the film take place? Where was the movie filmed? So is the geographic base accurate? What type of clothing costumes are utilized in the film? We're looking at, are those accurate? Is this the way that people would have dressed back in those times? What type of tools, weaponry, technology are utilized in the film? Next, describe the engineering, the architecture, the design of buildings and structures in the film. Is that also accurate? And then number eight, it's kind of a really important one. Can, can you connect the film to today? What I ask our young students to do is list a few ways that the film may have a social impact on viewers. Does the film represent any type of historical or modern propaganda? How does the film connect to today? What can current students learn from this film? So that's one of the big picture assignments that we do for every film. And then we usually take about three to four days of, of viewing and then we usually take about two to three days of research analysis and then filling out our historical documents. I also have them come up with for each film five historical accuracies. So five things that we can prove through our research were definitely accurate. And then also five things about the film that were historically inaccurate. And you have to prove these through doing your research. Then each film culminates with a percentage score that they place in this box. So what the goal is here is that after watching the film, after doing the research, your percentage score is how accurate was the film? How historically accurate was the film? Do you recommend it as a way to learn history or does it get history wrong? 
I'm fine with either one, as long as we can back it up with a little bit of evidence. And so I also give them a chance to write. Uh, they Their job is to write a one to two paragraph review of the film based on, first of all, its representation of history. That's really the goal there, talking about its representation. What did it do well? Uh, what did they like about the film? What are some things that they thought could have been improved? That can be written out by hand, that could be typed. I'm also asking this year a new form. I'm asking students to actually create a video review and post it to me on the online gradebook. So this is something that if you're taking college coursework, this is something that's becoming more and more popular. It's very popular right now during the pandemic, and it's also a way to cut down on the paper trail and the transmission back and forth. So through our gradebook system here at St. Mary's, the students can go and submit these videos to me. I've taught them how to use Loom, which is what I'm using right now for this presentation, and uh, they're using YouTube. So that's a little bit of a skill also to develop that I think will help them for their future. Once again, uh, this is just a brief introduction. If you would like more information on this elective course, uh, my contact information is here, mlengel at stmarysprep.com. I would love to answer any questions that you have. In, in closing, I would say that this course is meant to be a fun course. You know, it is demanding in the amount of research that goes in, uh, but really in a day-to-day -day basis, it's probably the easiest thing you could do. You're really just coming to class, watching historically-based films, taking down some notes, and then once we finish the viewing, that's where the work comes in. That's where you're putting in the time and effort in the historical-based research and developing those type of skills. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you very much.